In case you haven't heard, tech giant Apple has decided to venture out into making moves in the automotive industry as well. According to Bloomberg, it's been reported that Apple has recently hired long-term Ford employee Desi Utkashovic to help with their project. Today, we'll be looking more into the company's endeavors. First off, what do we know about the Apple car? As of right now, we actually don't know too much about this mysterious project. According to the news sites, McRumors started in 2014, Apple began to work on the supposed Project Titan with roughly 1,000 car experts engineers. The development was all done at a secret location near the Apple headquarters in Cupertino. The source also claims that the Apple car project changed and shifted numerous times over the last several years due to reasons such as internal strife and leadership problems. Regardless, development for the project is still ongoing. Back in 2016, rumors suggested that the company had put the development on the back burner, but resumed them in 2020. It said that the Apple car will be a fully autonomous self-driving car, meaning it won't need any driver intervention to work. This this seems to be going further than any other vehicle company to date. It's a highly ambitious plan, and according to the same source, the car won't have a steering wheel and no pedals either. If the rumors are true, then this car will be the first of its kind and could be another huge gain for Apple. Apple's AI and machine learning senior vice president, John Gianandria, is also working on the Apple car project. Kevin Lynch, known for working on the big hit Apple Watch, will also be on the project's team. Because Apple doesn't have any previous experience with car manufacturing, the company will definitely need partners to help with production. Rumors also have it that Apple may be working on creating partnerships with many big names in the automobile industry. Although we aren't exactly sure which brands Apple will be working with, we do know that the company has held discussions with others, including Hyundai. So who is Desi Ukashevic? As we mentioned before, Apple has managed to get one of Ford's long-term employees on their team. Desi Ukashevic, Ford's global director of safety engineering, will join the tech giant's plans to develop an electric car. Bloomberg was the first to report on the hiring, but they cited unnamed sources. According to the source, TechCrunch and her own LinkedIn profile, Ukashovic served in various roles since joining Ford almost 31 years ago. Some of these roles include developing EV vehicles interiors and exteriors and chassis components. She's also worked on a range of SUVs for Ford and Lincoln, as well as Fiesta and Focus compact cars. In recent years, Ukashovic has been working on all the current and future program safety strategies for autonomous cars, corporate rulemaking, advanced strategy developments, and field service actions for Ford. She was previously working as the engineering director for many North American vehicle programs. So, after seeing this very impressive resume, it's safe to say Ukashovic could definitely help Apple sort through regulatory issues the company faces in testing self-driving prototypes out on the public roads. Her lengthy expertise in engineering and safety protocols can also help Apple in its venture. Now, on to Apple versus Ford. It seems as though there have been some sort of tension brewing between the companies. Apple hiring Ford's Desi Ukashovic comes after Ford hired Doug Field, who was Apple's vice president of special projects. Also worth mentioning is that Tesla hired Field away from Apple back in 2013 to get some help with leading the production ramp for the Model 3. Field landed back at Apple in 2018 to help lead the Apple car project, and soon after, Ford hired him away from Apple once again. Apple definitely will begin to rival other well-known automobile companies like Ford and Tesla after news of this venture has come out. So, it seems like they're no longer going to be leaders in just the mobile and personal gadget industries anymore. Next, the project through the years. Many sources claim that the Apple car project started all the way back in 2014. Since so much time has passed, we should probably step back and try to collect information on what's been happening behind the scenes ever since. According to the Apple Electric Car Project Wikipedia page, the project was initially rumored to have been approved by Apple CEO Tim Cook in 2014. A year later, the Wall Street Journal reported that the product would resemble a minivan more than a regular car. The Sydney Morning Herald had also said at the time that the production could start as soon as 2020. But of course, in 2022, we are still not exactly sure of how far the production has gotten. In 2016, more rumors began to spread about the project, with even the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, commenting, stating, it's pretty hard to hide something if you hire over a thousand engineers to do it. In May of that year, reports were circulated that Apple was also interested in building electric car charging stations. In 2017, interest flared up in the project again after learning that Apple was allowed to test autonomous vehicles on California roads. In June of that year, Tim Cook stated in an interview that the company was, quote, focusing on autonomous systems, but not necessarily stating it was going to be a car product. Later on, in 2021, Apple was reportedly in deals with the company Toyota, as well as Korean partners, for production to begin in 2024. Now, for other alleged employees, like we said before, Apple doesn't have experience working in the automobile industry. That's why they felt the need to hire well-experienced employees from other companies. But for Decide, the tech giant has also allegedly hired away employees from 
from many other automobile companies as well. Some other alleged employees include Jamie Carlson, who was a former engineer for Tesla's autopilot self-driving car program, Megan McLean, who was a former Volkswagen AG engineer with strong expertise in automated driving programs, was also allegedly hired away. And there's Doug Betts, who was a former global quality leader at Fiat Chrysler. So it seems to be that it's not just Ford that Apple is going after. Finally, is it a wise business move? Is venturing out into the automobile industry a smart move for Apple? Most reports say yes. According to the website Autocar, the Apple car will most likely be more than just a regular self-driving vehicle. The vehicle said to be so much more and will be conceived to also be like a personal assistant with a level of interaction and assistance far beyond what's available in autonomous cars today. And the project's also expected to take a similar direction to what we see now, meaning it'll most likely dominate the auto industry the same way it dominates the personal electronics field. Next, in other related news, electric cars are the next big thing. It's safe to say that it's time to bid goodbye to manual driving pretty soon. According to the investment bank UBS, by 2025, roughly 50% of all cars being sold globally will be electric vehicles. Large automobile companies like Jaguar and Volvo also plan to only start selling electric cars. It said that by 2025, Jaguar will be only selling electric vehicles, and Volvo will follow suit by 2030. British sports car company Lotus have said that they too will do the same starting from 2028. All of this is happening a lot sooner than lots of us can fathom, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. According to the Kia website, electric cars, when compared to conventional gas-based cars, have better energy efficiency, performance, convenience, maintenance, and even tax credits. These electric cars are also said to have better green aspects, and they release much lower emissions than normal cars. Ford recalls SUVs over various risks. Recently, Ford has had to recall over 310,000 trucks due to the possibility of the airbag not successfully inflating during a possible car crash. On top of that, the company has had to also ask the owners of about 350,000 vehicles to take them to their dealerships to get repairs done. Of that 350,000, it is said that 39,000 are to be parked outdoors due to the possibility of the engines catching on fire. The company is also recalling 464 Mustang Mach-E SUVs, which are electric cars from 2021. A software problem can cause random acceleration or deceleration, a loss of drive power in all-wheel drive vehicles. Ford states that they aren't explicitly asking the owners of the vehicles to stop driving the SUVs, but rather to contact their dealers or the company if they are facing problems with the vehicle and procedures. As concerning as all these recalls are, Ford also says in documents released that it isn't too sure as to what's causing the fires in some of their SUVs. Is Apple working on a foldable phone? Aside from their vehicle ventures, the company may also be looking into releasing foldable phones in the near future. With so many other companies doing so, it would only make sense that one of the world's largest tech companies would follow suit. According to a leak, Apple is testing e-ink covers for foldable devices, and many are speculating that future foldable iPhones and iPads are expected to launch around 2025. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo has claimed in a tweet that the color electronic paper devices, EPD, being used has the potential to become a common solution for foldable devices as they're excellent in saving power. Although the devices may take time to release, the leaks show Apple's vision clearly. And that's a wrap for this video. Are you guys excited about Apple's upcoming vehicle? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.